All right, hey guys. Uh, so, just got back from the SCCA event out in Toledo, Ohio at the Pro Solo, and it was awesome. We had a bunch of fun. Um, but while we were out there, we realized that, uh, so the engine's been acting up all season. Um, obviously, we blew it up in Chicago. Couldn't get it running in Lincoln. Brought it back here. I put, uh, took it completely apart, split the case halves, put a new crank in, or I mean, at least a rebuilt crank in, and uh, new pistons, fresh hone and everything. And it uh, started right up, and it's been running, but I wouldn't say it's been running great. So um, I just found something out. And since I'm not ashamed to show my uh, learning process here, I thought I'd share it so you guys don't have to make the same mistake. Um, so here's what I found out. So the piston kit that I bought was the SP1 piston kit. I'm going to turn the camera down so you guys can see some things. So this SP1 piston kit, um, you know, on a 494 has two rings. 493 and 593 are single ring. Um, but the this SP1 piston kit comes with the rings, and they're labeled top. And they say which one is top. And then SP1, unlike the Weisco kits, the Forge ones, um, they're just two rings, and it doesn't matter where they go, and they don't even have an up. They're just square profile rings. Uh, these are totally dependent. So if you mic this one, this says, you know, about 0.58 or 0 0.058, and it only fits in this bottom ring, like in that groove. And it fits great. It's perfect. So when I was rebuilding the motor with this piston kit, um, I did that same thing. Now, obviously, I checked my rings, slid them down into the uh, jug, checked the, my ring gap. Um, everything was perfect. Checked my uh, gap between the ring um, and the piston. Everything was perfect. Went to put the top one in, went to slide it into that top groove, and I was like, huh, it doesn't really, it sticks just like that. I was like, it doesn't, it doesn't really fit in there. Like, they sent me the wrong ring. Um, I had other rings from a Pro X piston and those kind of fit in there and they fit all right. And I was like, well, I'll just use these rings and hopefully everything will be okay. Um, and it turns out that uh, what I did not know is that this top ring, so the thinner of the two rings that come with the kit, this ring is actually kind of like conical in shape. Uh, and you can imagine when that's in the piston, so this is the top side, so when that's in the piston, that pressure of the explosion when it pushes down, it's like a cup, right? And it forces the ring to get really tight to the jug. And that's what makes that really nice tight seal so you get that high PSI compression. So what I have in there now is one that's actually kind of loose and it's letting that compression go by, um, that explosion go by. So we're only getting about 135 PSI in the motor and a fresh rebuild, I would expect to see somewhere probably north of 145. So we're down um, some compression and some power on the motor, and that has shown up in our clutching. So all of a sudden, we can't spin the clutches with enough torque off the motor because all that pressure is leaking by the piston. So our RPMs are down, like it's dragging the whole thing down because our motor doesn't have enough power to spin everything fast enough. So what I found out was, like I said, this one, it has a top side and it's conical in shape. And even though it does not fit in here, like how you normally just like grab a ring and check that ring gap, if you do take the ring and actually install it real quick, you'll see that it will like nest down inside that the groove that's actually in the piston is also conical in shape, right? It actually comes in at that angle. And so the piston fits perfect in there. So now all I need to do is uh, basically take the whole motor apart again for the fourth time this year. Um, I'll look at the pistons that are in there. I'm going to be probably pretty thorough. If the pistons look okay, uh, they may get reused. It's more than likely I will just pull those pistons. These aren't terribly expensive. Um, these these cast pistons uh, with the coating and everything are, I can't remember, you can get them on, on eBay for like $45. So that's not the end of the world. Um, so they, I will probably pull those pistons, pull those completely out, put these in, um, once I verify the ring end gap and then go back through the process of seating the rings and everything. And then hopefully we will be back up to having plenty of power and that way we can put the clutches back to where they were, where we knew they worked. Um, but that should have been my first sign that we had issues.
So anyway, I hope that helps somebody um, in the future. You learn from my mistakes. And if you see me on site at a race event and I have helped you, you owe me a beer. All right, guys. Catch you later. Bye.